I'm Kip Thorne. I prefer to be called Kip. Uh, I'm not Professor Thorne. That's my father and mother. I'm Kip. Anyway, uh, I have spent much of my career working on the theory of black holes, uh, together with my students trying to understand how they should behave. The dominant person in that subject, of course, was my close friend Stephen Hawking. The remarkable thing is that now that we have discovered gravitational waves from colliding black holes, uh, finally, the study of black holes is a truly observational uh, process. So it's a very exciting time. And I take great pleasure in watching what younger scientists do building on the science that I did, particularly with gravitational waves. I'm at a phase where I can do things that I really enjoy that uh, are different from what I ever did before. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm still involved in small amounts of scientific research, but I'm enjoying thoroughly collaborating at the interface between science and the arts. I have believed uh, throughout my career that it is very important to share what we learn uh, with non-scientists, with the general public. Well, let, let me just say about uh, the All-Russia Science Festival that we have nothing like this in America. I mean, it is really remarkable to me that you are able to reach out across the country and influence, uh, inspire people and educate people about science. I think it's really a wonderful thing and I look forward to learning how it develops uh, over time in, in the coming few years. The history over the, these past few years is quite remarkable how it has grown uh, from uh, the ideas that uh, your rector, Sagovnichi, uh, conceived into this very marvelous and very big and very inspirational event. And well, time will tell us uh, how it grows further.